I basically made a checklist and a Word document at the time because I, I didn't there was no, I didn't know of my web audit or anything like that. And I basically had this checklist that I would go through and I would call it like a website evaluation. And I would basically go through and I would put like either a green check or a red X next to the, all these points and basically do like a manual evaluation of the site uh, and charged them for that and then said you could come on to a monthly plan. And so we've done now probably, uh, I'd have to go check, probably 50 or 60 of our monthly clients are sites that we didn't build that we charge mm. for like website evaluation tune-up for up front, make sure we know what we're getting into, see the state of the website, make a few tweaks, and then they can come on to a monthly plan. Love it. And now, of course, you use my web audit to manage right. so most it's of a lot quicker. Yeah, yeah, a lot better, um, a lot more thorough too. <laughs> so, it, but here's the other thing I just want to park here for a second because there's something about your approach and your mindset that is quite different to a lot of, and I just wonder if it comes from your past experience from before you went out on your own, but you were charging for audits. Most freelancers and small agencies I speak to do free audits as a way of getting in front of the client and establishing a relationship, but you were charging from audits like right from the get go, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I, and I started at a low price. I think I probably charged like 199 or something. I was like, oh wow, they didn't even flinch at that, right? And I kind of kept playing with the price. So we, we kind of settled on 497 because um, we don't want to be too big of a roadblock to get someone on like $150 a month or higher plan. But um, it's also enough that I know they're not going to drop off the plan after a month or two mm -hmm. of on the plan because they've invested $500 up front. So they're not going to mm -hmm. just disappear after two months of service, right? So I mm -hmm. kind of weed out those people that are just looking for like, a quick fix for some problem they have and then they're going to kind of drop the service because we don't have any kind of long-term commitments for our care plans they can stop at any time they don't but they could right had, had, i feel like this is a whole other episode of the agency which we'll probably do at some point but amber rushton has a team doing really well she's in the brossa valley we love her she is a unicorn she's an absolute rock star she's in sales accelerator she's still doing free audits she says, I realize I have a mindset issue. You're charging $497, 497 not $4.97, yeah, US. Dollars 97, kid. Yeah, 497 US dollars for a web order that you are using my web order to do I most of that. By the, way, by the way, Amber, reach out to us in Slack. We'll get you a link for my web order. You get some cool stuff if you sign up with our link. And I think we get a bit of affiliate commission, which helps me pay for my coffee. So we'll sort <laughs> that out in Slack. But yeah. how, like, you charge 497 for an audit and then you know how like how do you sell the value of a web audit for 497 dollars like how do you position it so that the client says well this is something that we just have to do now because johnny said yeah so they usually don't know the the state of their website when they come to us they're like hey we had this developer he kind of used to do our thing or we've been doing it on our own we know there's some issues we tried to update this thing it breaks this whatever so I pitch it as like a, hey, we'd love to support your website, but I don't want to take your website on and then it get hacked next week and it has nothing to do with anything that I did. It was some issue that was already in the website or whatever, right? So we need to pull your website into the shop, open up the hood, just like a mechanic looking at the car. It's kind of like saying, hey, tell me what's wrong with my website, but you can't look under the hood, right? We need to look under the hood. We need to see what the issues are. Um, and so I say, hey, it's 497. We'll do a full evaluation. You'll get this detailed report. We'll do a 15 minute call afterwards to go over it. Make sure you understand it. Answer any questions you have. And in the report, we're going to have a one page summary of recommendations. That's kind of here's what we need to do now. And here's what we recommend doing later. And we'll include two hours of tune up work initially to knock out some of those easy items. And then you can come onto a monthly plan and we'll work through some of the other items and help you oh, with whatever that's else. That's great. So then so the I turn. The two so hours I do the 15, yeah. yeah, I do the 15 minute call. I, I get them to agree to the items that I already pre wrote in there of, with time yeah. estimates. And yeah. then I just, that just gets copied into teamwork, which is what we use uh -huh. for project yeah. management. It gets assigned yeah. to a developer in the Philippines and it's done within a couple of days. Oh, right? dude, this is like, oh, dude, this is worth the price of admission on its own, which is pretty good for a free podcast. <laughs> uh, I've been waiting to use that line. I used to say it all the time and I, it's been a couple of years. Uh, the Amber Russell, I love this so much. So do I. I could, the, I could just park here for days and unpack this um the other so there's a couple of things you've done here the two hours of tune-up time to fix the mission critical things that we're going to identify that's what makes it a godfather offer that's what makes it too good to refuse it's like well mm -hmm. you, i can't say no to this now right if you yeah. just said it's 497 dollars for a report when you're going to tell me everything's wrong i'll be like well do i really need i mean like i know there's shit wrong can you just fix it 
So you've combined what we call a fire starter in, in Mavericks Club, which is a product that diagnoses a problem that you actually sell and an accelerator, which fixes a couple of those problems. And then you're putting, putting them onto a recurring accelerator, which is the care plan. So you can continue to maintain it and fix those problems over time. I and, love and it. What it's happens elegant. is they come and they come onto the care plan. Like this was a, we got, we got a, we have a gym client that we got uh, last year. They, they, we did an evaluation tune up. They weren't happy with their previous web guy. They weren't able, doing a good job. Got them on a care plan. And then uh, I think they're on like $500 a month care plan. Then we started doing their SEO. Then we started running their digital ads. Now we're running their YouTube ads. So now it's a, it's turned into a $1,500, $2,000 a month client just from ramping up, Fantastic. right?